Hi guys, it's Patrick here. Today I'm going to be doing a little video on the bow and breathing. Breathing is really important for everybody. It's something I've studied a lot in the world of elite sport and it's something I've learned quite a lot of over the next while. So first off, we're gonna open our breathing apparatus and then we're gonna do some really good breathing exercises to help everybody just calm down, lower the pace a little bit and just reduce that fight or flight response. So we'll start off by just lifting our arms out to the sides slightly up, slightly opening the chest, and we'll have a big, long breath. <clears throat> and then slowly out. You can see as I do that, my body's moving. Keep the head tucked back. You can really feel the chest opening as I do this. Okay, so the next exercise is going into what's been called the bow. So we'll lift the arms up above our head, mouth open, breathe through your mouth this time. Let your mouth on your face and your jaw and everywhere down here relax. Push your bum in underneath, stay in that position. Bum in underneath, knees can be slightly bent. We arch backwards, opening up, releasing the front soft portion of our body. Keep breathing. Vibration is good, that's tension releasing. You can actually hear, I don't know if you'll hear it, but you can hear my heart rate inside my breath. There are a few adaptations, like we can open up the hips, we can lean on the glutes and lean forward over them. Or, as we did in the warm up, we can put our hands behind our chest. This one I can really feel open up just at the bottom of the rib cage where our rectus abdominis joins in. And you can really stretch your jaw as well. Let the relaxation come in, let yourself vibrate, let yourself loosen. That allows the tension to relax out of our breathing apparatus. And now we move into some breathing exercises and I guarantee you'll really, really calm down. Find somewhere to sit, find somewhere to lie down. You can do this standing, but you won't get quite as relaxed. Lying down in bed is fantastic as well. This is called intermittent breathing. It's something I've studied a lot in my life as, a, as an Olympian and performance athlete, and breath work is incredibly powerful. Intermittent breathing, if we breathe in as I raise my hand, and then out as I lower my hand. Nice and smooth, intermittent. We have a slight pause at the top. And then out. Slight pause at the bottom. Let the carbon dioxide build. Keep breathing at the pace I'm lifting my hand. And then hold for a second and then out. We want to breathe as if the hairs in our nose do not even move. Pause at the bottom. Carbon dioxide is a good thing, we want some. We want more carbon dioxide than our bodies actually think. We all over breathe. Take a pause, out. By this point you should feel a little calmer. No need to breathe quite as fast. You're doing really well. Keep it slow. It's really relaxing. One or two more. Three, four. Okay, hold for a second. Full in breath, feeling strong and relax it out.
So that's a method called intermittent breathing. It borrows a lot from the Bateco method, which I recommend you have a look at Patrick McKeown, The Oxygen Advantage, fantastic book, great YouTube channel, loads of really good information. I hope that breath work pattern helped you calm down a little bit and you felt a little better. Feel free to rewatch, go and find a pattern online, but just breathe really slow in, hold for a second, really slow out. Your control pause, the gap in between, not my words, Alexander, uh, I think it's Alexander, it might be Robert. Dr. Bateko, Ukrainian, Ukrainian scientist, he called it the control pause, that gap between when you take one breath and when you take the next. Your breathlessness, it's really important, great marker of health. So I hope you have a great day and I hope this has brightened things up for you. Stay safe, love.